Hey everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat. And I'm Eternal Sunday D. We're back for more. Let's play Super Paper Mario on Rezowalkthroughs.com. <laughs> Blick, the void has been ripped into the dimensional fabric. Yes, come Blick is pleased. All has gone as foretold in the dark fanaticus. Now it's just a matter of time until all worlds meet their demise. Blick! Wow, that's just super, Count. Yeah, first you'll erase all those naughty worlds. And then you're gonna build a perfect world without war and all that other icky stuff. Who voices him? You. That's okay. okay. We'll skip his voice for now. Yeah. Sodium Lee! What in blazing bulgarats? Hey, the beat myself here. What's going on? Me, 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 me. Oh, Joe, oh, Chunks, you big silly. Did you oversleep or something? I guess it's kind of hard to be on time, though, when you got muscles instead of brains. Hey! You can't fool me with that crazy shit shifting oligonomy. It's me, me, isn't it? You're a little sick for the count. You can't go a bottle in his face loss. <laughs> How delightful, Mimi. Almost as dapper as Count Black. Ah, oh, golly, thanks, Count. With you around, it's nothing but big smiles all the time. Hanging out with the Count. That's my idea of a perfect world. And here I found Mimi's idea of the world was a gym-filled pool of funky life girls. Hey, Dimensio, you've been reading my diary? I mean, uh, never mind. <laughs> well, different strokes for different minions. After views of rotten worlds are ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. But for that to happen, we must follow the instructions of the Dark Pornaticus. Yeah, about that, just an FYI, I've got an urgent memo for your inbox. Apparently, there's been some unapproved interdimensional activity lately, yeah. I'm thinking it's the Hero of the Prophecy. We're gonna need an action plan for this guy. A dimensional interloper? And possibly the Hero? Are you sure of it, Natasha? Interesting, Muse Count Black. We must put it into this nuisance. Cute Black! Let me get this right to me, brain. Your hero in this day is going on about easier enemy. Then you gotta cut me loose on him. You gotta! I'll give him a nice taste of old chunks. Very well, old chunks. I'll leave you... I'll leave you... I'll leave the hero talking to you. You can count on me, cute. I'll rain down like a flat thunderstorm. I swear to it. Mimi, you didn't you? You should tag along. You can witness a proper chunking. Hmm, I do enjoy a good chunking. Well then, I believe I'll head as out as well. <laughs> so, hero, you would defy Count Black. Then hurry for your world ends. Draws near. <laughs> Mario was called upon once again to save the world. No small task. Could he prevent Count Black from pulling off a sinister plot? Would Mario reunite with Princess Peach? A truly interdimensional adventure was about to begin. Chapter 1 1 The Adventure Unfolds. Oh yeah, it's been a while, but we're back and doing this game. Finally. Yeah, uh, real life has a way of getting in the way. Yeah, especially me busting my mic. Oh, that was just so awful. And there was also the fact that uh, I feel the pure heart, but it's still far from here. 
Merlin told us to find his friend Gustavus to learn that dimensional technique. Well, we'd better go find him. Yeah. One more thing. If you want to learn about anything, just use my power. I know about many things. Yeah, she's basically Navi. But yeah, he busts his mic. He busts his mic. I moved to San Diego. It was a big cluster cluck. <laughs> Fine land. Well, that reminds me, I'm moving in like a week. <laughs> oh, lovely. Away. So it'll, it might be a while before the next episode, though. <laughs> hey, doesn't this look a lot like some Mario game we've played before in the distant past? Oh, uh, yep. Good old Mario days. Goomba, one of Bowser's minions, max HP is one, attack is one, really puts the under back in underlings, has no remarkable traits. Pretty much the lowest of the low. I hear Goombas do have their fans, so what can you do? I don't know for sure, but I think that's actually a reference to uh, one of the other Super Paper Mario games. Uh, I wouldn't, I would not know for sure, but, uh, to me the background, I don't, I don't remember what, which, uh, which background it's from. I think it's like Super Mario, uh, Super Mario World 3? If I'm... Might be, don't know. But Squiglets are basically Goomba plus one. Squiglets, the most annoying creatures ever made for a Mario game. Not true in the slightest. Oh, what's your worst? You know. uh oh, this is not an empty house. There's something in this room. I can feel it. I can help you find hidden things. Why don't you use my power to look around? Okay. There's a hidden door here. Let me make it visible for you. It's a door. Let's go inside. Dumbass. It's a door, let me teach you how to go inside now. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. What is this meager mustache that stands before me? And how does it have the audacity to address my multicolored glory? How did these flimsy whiskers detect my secret door? Wait right there, red shirt, conspicuous white gloves, John Tick up. Ha! The garbed in the rich clothes of the hero prophecy. You must be the great Hero Impersonator. What a costume! You look like you leapt right into the pages of the prognosticus. No, no. This is Mario. He's dressed like this because he is the hero. Merlin told us to find you. Merlin, only his full-bodied beard rivals my heavy magnificence. If Merlin thinks you're the true hero, then you probably are, I think. Well then, as the ancient prophecy foretells, I, Bestivus, will bestow upon you the ancient secret of dimensional flipping, well, for a nominal fee of 10,000 coins. But that's preposterous. You can't charge to teach the hero the prophecy. Why not? Even the great and splendiferous Bestivus has certain expenditures. Why should the hero get the world delivered to him on a well garnished platter? These heroes think they can get away with shaking people down for free skills. A mere 10,000 coins would be nothing for a hero of the universe. What do you say? No. I see. So be it. I will settle for just taking all the coins in your pockets. Do we have a deal? No. Yes. Do no. you refuse? So be it. But it makes me ill, I will waive a nominal fee and teach you for free. Do you agree to this? Yeah. Scintillating, let us begin! Zimity, family, boom, ziggity, daggity, doom, zimity, zabity, boom! Shaboom! Flip out! I, best of us, have granted you the ability to flip between dimensions. Press A to slip between the very fabric of space and flip between 2D and 3D. Well, what do you think? Mind blowing, isn't it? Ah. What is this? A S D go? 
I assure you that if we are being watched from another dimension, those beings will understand that you lack the mustache for full comprehension. Just remember that you can always use this ability to find hidden items and secret paths. But beware, use your new ability too long and you will lose hit points. So, there we go. Oh, so much given to you. Yeah, pretty much. But, you know, you are the hero of prophecy. And Mario. Exactly. Shroom Shake. Mario, he needs to know everything. Shell Shock. And that's it for this area. God, the artwork in this game. Amazing. Wee! Ah, you went for the door, didn't you? Oh, <laughs> I did that. I wanted to do that. Oh, look! The fire burst. Fire burst. <laughs> Yum. The one thing I did not like about this game is that you had, uh, they gave you like a time limit on how you can like stay in like the 3D area. I didn't like that. Was this weird? Well, they do give you a bonus, and if you uh, finish the game, you can. You can go through the game forever in 3D. Oh, amazing. Whee! I've got lots of mini Marios. Well, I have lots of mini Marios. Whee! Mini Marios. <laughs> oh, look, coins! <laughs> And an item box, which has another shroom shake. You got the shroom shake. Okay. <laughs> and oh, by the way, I don't know if we had uh, Eternal Sunny D doing the voice of uh, Merlin before, but he's going to be doing that voice now. I think I was doing the voice for Merlin before also. Okay, so, it, nothing changed then. It's just been so long I wasn't sure. Yeah, like, I I, I thought I was doing the voice for the Stopus also, but when you started talking, I'm like, oh, I'll just shut up. <laughs> yeah, I, I went, you know what, I have a good voice for this guy, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Go here, just in case. I don't think this ever pays off. But, oh well. Aww. And punk. Yay. Oh look, a card. Goomba card. You got a Goomba card. You boosted damage. Okay, I boosted damage against Goombas. Not exactly necessary. Yeah, but you know, it's not necessary, but it's kind of helpful in a way. And even though health items aren't necessary, you can still use them for points. Points are one of those things that get you health in the long run. Yay! Landed right on it quickly. Coin, 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 coin. And you've got a Koopa coming on your tail. Had a Koopa. <laughs> Had a Koopa. <laughs> yeah, this is basically Super Mario Brothers World 1 1. Which I guess they intended it on being. But where's the castle? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I remember the first time I played uh, Super Mario. Oh my god, it was amazing. Beat the world in like 20 seconds. I could never do uh, that. Yeah. Yeah, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Bye. <laughs> and dunk, dunk, and dunk. Oh, hi. This is a squig. Tougher creature than a squiglet. Okay. 
HP is 4, attack is 1, they have a nasty habit of... Okay, they're shy guys. They are the equivalent of the bullet shooting shy guys from Mario 2. And the very first door that we see that has a star uh, in this huh? level. Now, one thing I will be doing is I will be doing each episode by level. So however long it takes to finish a level is however long the... what the hell? It's a scrolling line! For some reason, this creature lives to hop endlessly. And also looks like a Burger King burger. <laughs> yeah, it really does. <laughs> and it splits into mini-burgers mini if you hit it without finishing it off. And jump, 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 done. It also looks like the ham burglar from the old McDonald's uh, yeah. commercials. <laughs> like the eyes and everything. Yep. Oh, I used to love that. Uh, nostalgia. Uh, even the old, like, uh, cartoon or, like, live action thing that they did, that was, that was so weird. Yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, I left my pal pills behind. Or pill pals. And they're gone. Damn it. Oh well. They live a very short life. Apparently. Especially what they're good for anyway, just uh die. <laughs> Okay, bye. Now, normally this would take a while, but we were given that fire burst for a reason. So let's use it. Whee! All of you die now. I would like to know if this. Wow, level up. Dang. I would like to note that uh, it's ridiculously easy to get most of those super items to go off correctly. Okay. What in the oh. Money! Always have to get that money. Coins are like... Oh, I never even bought anything. Ow. Ah. <laughs> and there's the thing that usually goes to the castle, but there's no flag. Ow. Nope. Nope. I really hate those little things. Oh, yeah. Uh. Lines. Yeah. And it's another door. Eek. What do we got in here? We got more stuff. Apparently. So, ow! Piranha plant. Piranha plant. Yay, piranha plant. Monstrous flower that lives in pipes. HP is two, attack is one, and we have no way to attack it. At the moment. So we just bypass them when we do every other piranha plant in the game. In every other Mario game. Piranha plants. Ah. Oh, nothing here. Okay. And point. Hey! It's a mega star! Use it to grow to mega proportions! And oh yeah! Thing on screen. Well, let's do this mega style. Look at us, Ace. Big Ace Self. got the original invincibility song. Yay. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, I love seeing that. Anyways, I think this is a good place to call it. So, this is Man in a Black Hat. 
And I'm Retorno Sunday D. We'll see you next time for more Let's Play Super Paper Mario on ResidWalkthroughs.com. Whenever we get around to the next episode. So, with that, it's... End of chapter!